Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner. And as you know, I have an opinion on everything. And today is no different. I am appalled and disgusted by President Trump's latest racist statement made during a bipartisan meeting about immigration on the 11th of January. He has never hid his deep inbred dislike for people of color. His father was a member of the KKK before he was born. And in 1975, the Justice Department would subsequently complain continuously racial discrimination conducted by the Trump family. And this went on and on and on, regardless of how many times they were caught red-handed. What can I say? It's in the blood. I don't know what else to say about this man. In 1978, the Justice Department filed another discrimination suit against the company, alleging that the Trumps weren't complying with the original order of 1975, and that one was before that. So the fact that the race has become a central part of Trump's campaign and administration, as well as his tweets, should come as no surprise. Despite Trump's own insistence that he's the least racist person you've ever met, devoted racists like David Duke and all of the others that voted for him are thrilled that the Donald has sparked an insurgency in open racism. Let me tell you, I was born into Jim Crow came of age in the Civil Rights Movement. I know racism when I see it, when I smell it, when I taste it. And he's it. For those of you that are old enough to remember, in a speech delivered by Dr. Martin Luther King on April 4, 1967, at a meeting with the clergy and laity at the Riverside Church in New York City, he said, and I quote, a time comes when silence is betrayal. Some of us have already begun to speak out and break that silence. We have, if you remember, just so recently, in December, how black people stood up and spoke out against the agony of racism when they voted and voted and voted in Alabama. And we are now at a point where we have to speak out again. We have to move beyond the darkness that seems so close around us. To save the soul of America, we were convinced that we could not limit our vision to certain rights for black people, but instead affirm the conviction that America would never be free of slaves unless the defendant descendants of slaves were free. If we were free, if we were loosed completely from the shackles, this I believe to be a privilege and a burden for all of us. Martin Luther King said, give us the ballot in 1957. He said that if we had voting rights for Americans in the United States, we would have better everything. We could elect better candidates. We could elect, we could insist that the Supreme Court had better judges and people all around. If we, black people, showed up and voted in a block. So we've got to see that. We got to see that the only voice we have, the only thing that we have is the ballot. If we are going to overcome the hostility from the president and the people that love him, like the Republicans who don't talk against him, the only thing we have is the ballot. The only thing we have is to vote. That is our voice. That is what we have. And not to use it is a betrayal. Not to use our voice not to step up to the plate in the primary, in the general. So what? 
if you say, well, I don't like the way he looks, I don't like the way that, bullshit, stand up and vote. That is our voice. That is what we have, and not to use it as a betrayal, not to step forward. That is our right. That is what we have fought for. People died for the right to vote, and that is our voice, and if we are going to overcome the hostility, the racism that Trump has let loose across this country, we have nobody to blame but ourselves. This is our right. This is our vo voice. We have to begin to look at that. We have to run for these offices. I don't care. You say, well, I've never done, and I don't know this. I don't, don't make excuses. Step up to the plate. This is your right, and the only way we are going to overcome this hostility from this horrible person and his nasty language is the vote. That is the one thing we have in the democracy, and if we're going to save this democracy from him and the people like him, we have got to step up to the plate. Not to do that is a betrayal. Like he said, like Martin Luther King said, a time is of not speaking out is a betrayal. We have to look at, you know, we, we will come to rue this day when we do not look at what did, in, in, in the uh, letter from the Birmingham jail, and he said, to remain silent, we will pay for those, in the, not the things that bad people do, but the silence of good people. And so I am telling you, begin today, look at candidates, begin a, be a candidate, whatever it takes. Turn out your neighbors. Be sure your next door neighbor is registered. Turn them out. Make sure that they understand this is our voice and the only way we're going to take it back from horrible people that say such unforgivable things as Mr. Trump does. Did you know that before this day was over, the ambassador from the Panama resigned, said he couldn't work for that man? We have got to do this. So I beg of you. To not to vote, to stay silent, is a betrayal. The time has come to speak up, to take it back. And I thank you for thinking of me, for talking to me, and I will see you next time. Aloha.